Braun, um, Kevin Braun, other people. And there was a comment made that he needs to reaffirm uh, his subdivision plan, which was approved umpteen months ago. October 27, 2021. And basically, he did not file that, uh, subdivision, that subdivision that was approved. So when you have a subdivision that's been approved, you have a period of time with, within which to have it filed of record with the courthouse. The court of Utah. Correct. It wasn't done. Right. So we said that he, he would need to file it back and we'd have to reaffirm it. And I believe TJ and his firm reviewed the application. A re reaffirmation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, and that's what we're here doing today. Now, Correct. I believe you sent your comments to Mr. Chris Hand. Yes. And he has not responded to you, has he? Not yet. No. And I sent our uh, the letter that's in front of you was sent um, earlier this morning to the planning commission, and the applicant was copied as uh, for so standard uh, standard protocol. And you. So at this point in time, you sent that to him. There's been no real written response from right. Chris Ham on behalf of his client. Right. So do you want to go from there, sir? Sure. So the subdivision plan is for phase one of the Mineral Beach planned residential mm -hmm. development. Um, it was presented, reviewed, and approved by the township in uh, October of 2021. Um, it establishes 75 new residential building lots um, off of Walter Long Road, which is a private road. Um, so our office has, as Dennis alluded to, um, the plan was approved by the township in 21. It was never recorded. The applicant has 90 days to record an approved plan with a county recorder of deeds office, which was never done. Um, typically, when that time period elapses, the applicant then brings their drawings back before the municipality to be reapproved or reaffirmed and get uh, a new approval date so that they can record their um, drawings, which has taken place in this instance, um, considering, uh, you know, the, the the time period in between the original application being uh, reviewed and approved and, and certainly our office's new involvement into um, this township and this project in particular, we um, I, I took a, a thorough review of their drawings um, compared to the requirements of our zoning ordinance and our subdivision ordinance. And has the subdivision ordinance and the zoning ordinance changed or been amended or modified? Do not. Do you have any idea if that's been? I don't know. Not not it for my mind. It was done in twenty. It was done in twenty one, but I can't say before or after. I can pull. It. What was done in twenty twenty one? There was a Saldo ordinance thing done in twenty twenty one. I saw it last week, but I can't see the date or how it changed. So I just was looking for a different ordinance at the time. But Are I can pull it if you want. So they did adopt an ordinance in 2021? They South adopted the, the Saldo in 21. So what we have in the book is not current. I better have the current one. I paid I'm for it. Do you, you know they put that on general code? I don't code? know. I just was in the ordinance book looking for something. There's nothing that's put on general code because I contacted my first case. <laughs>